Hey guys, Shayna here. I am here today to talk about the Nordstrom anniversary sale. If you don't know about the sale yet, the reason everybody gets so excited is because it's a different kind of a sale. It's actually a pre-sale. So all of the sort of new and exciting fall merchandise that would normally come out at the end of August is launched in store for a brief period starting in July and it's marked down sometimes up to like 40% off. So it's all new stuff, all the stuff that you want to be shopping for fall. And yes, that is why everybody gets so excited. I have been not just shopping the sale, but I have been like covering the sale for 10 years now. Is it more than 10 years? It might be more than 10 years. Let's just, let's just say a decade. I have been covering the sale for a really long time. And over the years, I've sort of learned what some of the patterns are in the sale in terms of like what they almost always have that's really good and a few things that you can skip. I went through my closet and I pulled out everything that I had bought during some Nordstrom anniversary sale over the last 10 years. And I sort of like took a little assessment. Were they all sweaters? Were they all boots? What pieces am I actually still wearing? What has survived 10 plus years of closet cleanouts? I basically have four types, item types, that I think are safe bets. They are pieces that I almost always find in the sale year after year. They are pieces that have survived all my closet cleanouts, and they are pieces that I am still actively wearing all the time. And then I have four recommendations of you know types of products that I would recommend with some reservations. So after I pulled everything out and took a big look to see what the patterns were, the thing that jumped out far and away the most were the coats. The coats are the pieces that have stood the test of time. I don't know if it's because coat styles in general tend to be a little bit more classic, but if I had to point to one thing in my wardrobe that I can thank the Nordstrom anniversary sale for, it is my coat collection. That James Purse sweatshirt blazer is still like a comfy little piece to throw on. The North Face jackets, the Nordstrom sale is an amazing place to get like cozy fleece North Face jackets. Vince usually has something sort of like exciting and amazing. If it's not Vince, there's usually some sort of like fun faux fur jacket. There's really nothing quite like a faux fur coat on date night. They're like legitimately warm and they are fancy enough for almost any event. My favorite two coats from the Nordstrom sale easily are these really lightweight wool coats by Theory. And I have my fingers crossed that they'll have one in the sale because these coats are so lightweight. They're not the coats I turn to when it's minus 20 degrees outside, but when I wanna look put together, you know, I wanna like elevate my outfit just a little bit. These Theory coats have been amazing. This gray one in particular, with the sort of like oversized duffel silhouette means that I can layer it very easily over sweaters. And this thing has been like my go-to coat almost all winter, but primarily in sort of like the shoulder months, the fall through most of winter and then spring again. So yeah, highly recommend. And then lastly, and I don't know if this is a brand that's gonna be back in the sale this year, but it, it did show up, you know, year after year after year for a while there, was Pendleton. The plaid Pendleton coat is the warmest wool coat I've ever worn and it is soft and it is cozy and it's just another like really solid choice if you're looking for an easy way to elevate your wardrobe. And again, these are pieces that I would never have considered buying if they weren't on sale because they are, they tend to be pricey and you know, a lot of them are more statement pieces. And so I think I would have just overlooked them. But now that I have them in my closet, I mean, they're some of my most worn pieces. Number one, I know I'm blathering on and on about these coats, but darn it, like the Nordstrom sale does a really good job with coats. So next up is loungewear. Loungewear or workout wear, actually. This is like a very practical thing, but these are the pieces that I have like a decade later. There is a red little like sweatsuit from Nike that again, I <laughs> blogged about a million years ago and I still bust it out every summer because it's like a little bit more lightweight and it's cute and yeah, I still really, really like it. This Nike sweatshirt from the Nordstrom sale, I bought uh, two or three years ago now with um, matching wide-legged sweatpants. I still wear them all the time. Zella joggers, I wear mine all the time. And then you can usually find some really stellar Beyond Yoga pieces in the Nordstrom sale and I highly recommend those too. But here's the deal, and here's where I start to get a little bit cautious. When I'm shopping the Nordstrom sale, or frankly, any sale, I do better sticking with the pieces and the colors that I know I'm going 
to wear. So Beyond Yoga had some very like exciting, shiny pieces in last year's sale. I don't recommend those. I mean, unless, unless that's something that you wear all the time, but I'm talking about the Beyond Yoga pieces that I found that were like the navy blue, the really soft navy blue or gray. So those are the pieces that like years later I'm still wearing where like the super exciting stuff or like the, the stuff that maybe wasn't quite as soft. But I was like, oh, maybe because it's on sale. No, none of that has lasted. So my third recommendation, some underwear. Uh, yeah, I own like a million pairs of these Chantel, Chanterelle. I don't know, I'll link it below. Everything's linked below. These little like thong underwear um, is always in the Nordstrom sale. I love them. I find them to be super comfortable. And there's also usually hanky panky. Yes, this is the sale to stock up on underwear. The fourth foolproof category um, in the Nordstrom anniversary sale are beauty tools. There's some beauty products in the sale and I found it to be pretty hit or miss. I feel like Every once in a while, there'll be like the sunscreen I love and use. There's some hand soap that I'm obsessed with anyway. Charlotte Tilbury's um, Pillow Talk lipstick is almost always in the sale. Those are always like good bets, but they will sell out kind of almost immediately. Those things go fast. The makeup and beauty products themselves, I find to be super hit or miss, but the tools, the tools are usually really good. DHD is the brand of curling irons and hair straighteners and whatever else I typically use. The voltage will like auto adjust if you go overseas, so you can't fry this in Europe, which is nice. So GHD is like one of my favorites. And then these microdermabrasion kits from PMD. Ta-da! Can you see it? Totally worth snapping up. This is like the professional kit. I like that you can like sort of change the settings and change how like strong it gets. Whatever microdermabrasion kit they have on sale. It's usually a good one. So here are, I have a few sometimes wins. We talk a lot about like shoes and boots in the sale. When I went back through all of the shoes and boots that I'm still wearing, which ones did I keep from the sale? Most of the like sort of statement boots or statement shoes, those have not necessarily stood the test of time. A lot of those got booted out. But what I find that <laughs> I keep over and over and over, for some reason in the Nordstrom sale, I buy like taupe or very light tan boots that are walkable. So it's like a very narrow um, niche category. And sometimes I've gotten distracted by like fun footwear in different colors. And in hindsight, that may have been, I mean, I don't know. I'm also not a very colorful dresser. So for me, in hindsight, that was probably more of a mistake. But walkable boots in taupe and tan, you know, that, seems to be my jam. The second thing that I've found in the Nordstrom sale that I keep and wear over and over again, there are some sweaters and tops that have lasted the duration. The one thing these pieces have in common is that they are all 100% natural materials. 100% cashmere, 100% silk, and 100% cotton. Any other top that was a blend or like more polyester or just silky without being actual silk, those have not lasted. Those are all gone from my closet. I find the natural fibers way more comfortable to wear. I think they're way more durable, long-term. You know, they just hold up better. The brands that I would target, the brands that I think do those natural fibers really well, for silk, frame, you gotta check, because last year frame did a lot of polyester tops and I was not happy. But typically frame does have like beautiful silk tops in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. La Linea is my go-to for 100% cotton sweaters. Honestly, the Nordstrom's in-house brand does beautiful cashmere, like really thick and luxurious stuff. Eileen Fisher, Eileen Fisher does it all. She has cashmere, 100% silk, and 100% cotton in the sale. So yeah, so frame, Nordstrom house brand, La Linea, and Eileen Fisher for sweaters and tops. That would be my recommendation. The third thing that I can recommend, you know, with some reservation, and the only reservation in this instance, quite frankly, is the fact that like, this is very much aligned with my personal style, but Claire V bags, let me get them. All right, so bags by designer Claire V are some of my personal favorites. I have a ton, it's basically all I wear. And the sale does usually, at least for the last few years, have a couple versions. They go fast. I found that the Claire V bags that are in the sale are suede, which are not nearly as durable as her full leather, but I kind of don't care. You can see that this one is like very well worn and I still love it. I like the pop of pattern, you know, with the cool strap. But this bad boy, this Claire V tote is 
bizarrely expensive full price. So I honestly would never have bought it if it wasn't, you know, 40% off in the sale. And this has ended up being like such a good purchase. I stuff it full of drinks and food and bug spray and all kinds of stuff. Like soccer balls are in here. I'll take this to the park if we're gonna have a picnic at the park. If I, you know, need to bring a change of clothes somewhere, I throw it in here. Like this thing fits so much stuff. There is Claire V in the sale again this year. It's definitely worth a look. Lastly, we've got to have some real talk about jeans. The Nordstrom anniversary sale is often chock full of jeans, and they ha they have all the they have all the brands I like. They have Rag and Bone. They have Mother. While they have all of the brands that I know and love, they rarely have anything truly exciting. At least in recent years. If you are looking for just like a good pair of jeans, the Nordstrom sale will have an amazing price on a good pair of jeans. But if you are looking for, you know, something truly exciting or with the best wash or like the newest silhouette, you're probably gonna be disappointed. If I go back through the jeans I'm wearing, almost none of them are from the Nordstrom sale. That said, I, <laughs> I am wearing a pair of Levi's, my Levi, my beloved Levi 501s. I did actually buy these things in the Nordstrom anniversary sale and they are some of my wor most worn jeans right now, but they are because I distress them myself. Fingers crossed that maybe this year the sale has like freaking amazing jeans and you know, I would love to be wrong about this, but yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to my TED talk on the Nordstrom anniversary sale. But seriously, I here's what I linked below. Most of the stuff that I've covered is no longer available because it's old. Down below is I've linked to the brands I've mentioned on Nordstrom site, so you should be able to, once the sale goes live, click those links and like maybe kind of see, suss out, you know, what they have. I did get a little secret sneak peek of some merchandise that's gonna be in the sale this year. And it does look, it does look a lot better than last year. So I'm actually starting to get a little excited again. Let me know if you guys find any coats that you can't live without because like I said, my top recommendation. So yeah, thanks for watching guys.